Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for the past couple of months, I've been doing the wrapped up TBR. Last month I did the wrapped up plus one extra book. This time we're going back to the TBR jar. Now, I added a couple more prompts into here, um, but for the most part it's the same. There are still book names in here, some of which will be like currently reading or um, have read. Um, so I have got, I've got this full, on the top here is what I'm currently reading. This here, there's more on Kindle, I will point out. Um, this here is some of my TBR books and then I've got some underneath here as well. Um, oh and also I've got some in my bed because I've just done my 66 books haul. I do also have a lot in my bookcase behind me and some that... I have left at my Nana's house so I have got an abundance of books but we will see um, what books we get. Let's give it a shake. This as you can see is very full. Um, it's not as big as like some people's TBR jars so like Rachel Catherine um, her TBR jar is like taller than mine is all I'm gonna say um, but yeah. I have one. This has been on a previous TBR, I think. It's a good girl's guide to murder. Which I do have with me. Um, and I have been meaning to get to this. This is a book that I know a lot of people enjoy. I think I once attempted to read it. I got like a chapter in. I don't know. I got like 16 pages in previously. But I'm excited to get to this one and see what it's like and obviously this is the first in a series i do own book number two i don't yet own number three but i can easily get it and i'm glad that i've got this cover cover version because although there's the odd book that i don't mind the movie covers for example the bridgerton series i don't mind their movie covers the some books where it just doesn't work um so i'm glad i've got this cover but i know you can get both at the point so i'm glad that shops have got that um yeah, I'm excited. Obviously, it's got a lot of like mixed media. Um, I do enjoy an element of this. I'm going to apologise for those of you who have epilepsy. Unfortunately, my light does do that, I'm afraid. So that's book number one. Oh, let's put that one back in. I'm gonna go till I get a um, actual like prompt rather than just a book. Oh, a number in the title. Um, we've got five survive because of the number five. We have six of clothes. What have we got on this side? We've obviously also got more in. This is kind of, I feel, more of like my priority. We've got the seven husbands of. Seven deaths of the villain Hardcastle, should I say? Okay. I'm just going to pick one of the ones from here. Um, We've already got a Holly Jackson book, so I kind of think I'm going to miss that out. And let's try Six of Crows. Um, Lee Bardugo. Um, I forgot to say this is like a murder mystery um, following someone trying to solve a murder. This is a um, fantasy um, with a um, criminal trying to break into a certain court. I technically have two versions because Amazon sent me a version that had bits cut out. I've stuck those bits in you can't really tell you can now um i've kept this version i'll read this version um if i enjoy it i'll probably keep this version which actually means why the hell did i ask amazon for another one they did also refund me um so that's book number two these seem quite chunky um so we have got a prompt so it means i could if we only got book titles for the next lot i could just go for how many are we going for? I think I want to go for six because I've got a video idea that I want to do. Um, 
so yeah this is a very short thing so this clearly must have a title on that one we're gonna have to skip because powerful is that the book that, did i put that in because of the novella because why would i put that in i don't think i own any other books called powerful so i'm gonna have to pick another one for that i actually cannot really move my hand in this i feel like there's two there but hey ho this is the title i think oh would help oh uh, we're gonna have to consult goodreads a book published in 2001 not all of the books are gonna be i think these are more recent ones so i think i can get away with them not being in 2001 because i haven't added those in um sort by publication year there we go that's probably gonna give me 2024 ones first oh no it hasn't oh i don't think i have that book with me Inca Gold by Clive Cussler. I have that back in my nanas. Um, I don't actually know which bag that is. I kind of don't want to read that book. Um, so let's Google it. Have I not added that into my thingy? So I do have one with me. It's a chunker of a book though. To the point where I can tell which one it is. Because I'm not going to show you this. I also did get this from 66 Books. That I got this back in December. 2001 i kind of don't want to keep like searching for books this is a chunker of a book it's like 700 pages oh my god and it's like the third most popular book published in that year oh my gosh i've read out Al did i read artemis Fowl? i love how bridgerton number no. three was published in 2001 but obviously i've already read that i'm gonna have to go for this one aren't i oh and i've already read that one although it's not my thing do I have that though? Um, another, so the option I never mentioned was American Gods by Neil Gaiman. Um, this is 700 words. And it says, after three years in prison, Shadow Moon is free to go home, but hours before his release, his beloved wife is killed in a freak accident. Normally, he boards a plane where he meets an, an enigmatic stranger who seems to know Shadow and claims to be an ancient god and king of America. Together they embark on a profoundly strange road trip across the USA, encountering a kaleidoscopic cast of characters along the way, but all around them a storm of unnatural proportions is gathering. War is coming, an epic struggle for the very soul of America, and Shadow is standing squarely in its path. This is a chunker. Um, and part of me would have thought I'd have slept, I'd have read this, but clearly not. But the problem is, is have I read this beforehand? Um, potentially not. Um, is this a natural sticker? No, it is stuck on. But yeah, we've got the sleepy town of Hartsdale, Georgia is jolted into panic when medi medical examiner Lara Linton finds a woman dead in the local diner. She has been cut. Two deep knife wounds from a lethal cross over her stomach. Police chief Defri Jeffrey Tolliver, Sarah or Sarah's ex-husband, is in charge of the investigation. When a second victim is found crucified only a few days later, they have to face the fact that the murder wasn't a one-off attack. What they're dealing with is a seasoned sexual predator and a violent serial killer. Actually, I don't think I have read this one. I think I might put this on just because I'm thinking with what books I want to get through, I think a 700 word thing isn't the greatest for me. Um, so let's put this back. Let's just but we're going to go with Blind Sighted by Karen Slaughter as the book from 2001. And we have our fourth one. Probably upside down. Sea of Greed. That's another Clive Custler. Um, and basically none of them are with me. And... I'm gonna put it I'm gonna put it to side but I'm gonna pick another. We have another one. Is that upside down? I don't think so. Odd number of pages. Ooh, again the prompts today. I think I must have added loads. Um 
what do I want to read um first blow love how many pages has this got because I do really want to read this yeah so that's an even number um what all potential mm, how many pages has this got that's also an even number of pages um what about the inheritance game? That's also an even number. Oh my god. That's an even number. I was trying to think that would fit into the video. That I kind of started back in like April. Um, oh my god. A lot of extras. I so god, how many pages? There's a good 30-ish pages at least at the end of this book that's like the next book and that is an odd number of pages in terms of the actual story but there is like uh, that much that's like bonus and like extras and um anyway the book that we're going to go for is emily wilde's encyclopedia of fairies this was on atbr last month this just seems a little bit kind of lighter it's cozy fantasy um and yeah i just I just think it would be a slightly better book to add. But that took a while because there were so many even pages. Because When Grumpy Met Sunshine was technically um, even pages because although the last page of actual words um, was... Um... Oh, I didn't look at it then. Um, it was like a page on the back, had like a mixed media type thing. So this is one of the new ones, um, I don't know what it's going to be. A book from another country. So what this prompt means is a book that I either purchased in another country or came from another country or I bought in an airport when I'm going to another country. So one option we've got is Divine Rivals by Rebecca Ross. Um, this is the, obviously the US version. Um, and was brought over by my cousin when she came to visit. Um, another option we have is Blood and Moonlight by Erin B.C. I bought this in Italy um, in a bookstore there. I bought it in La Feltrinelli um, Library. It's not actually a library, um, but it was in like Milan Central Station. Um, and there was like an English section. And they there was some good section of books like... I remember seeing Just for the Summer there, um, I can't remember what else, but there was a few like other books there, um, so that is an option. The final option is The Ministry of Time by Kaylee Ann Bradley. Um, this is like a sci-fi literary fiction, I think. Um, what do we want to read? Kind of, let's put that back, because I don't think this is... Um, I think I'm going to go for Divine Rivals. I think it's time. Um, and I do have the sequel in, um, like, the Ruthless Vows in the, like, white cover version. Um, basically, I liked the typewriter version. And although I typically prefer to own books in, like, paperback, because my cousin was coming over before the paperback release, um, I just got the hardbacks. Um, and she got them from Target for, like, 20% off. Um, on like each book and it was like it made me even happier like it could be although I'd said like Barnes and Noble because I knew that you could get them at Barnes and Noble obviously I didn't mind that she got them from Target I in fact I wouldn't have even minded if she got them from a, a charity shop second hand I was like I just wanted to own the US covers um so yeah let's head to buy my rivals it's definitely a very it's currently a fantasy heavy month we've got five books so far so let's pick our final book. I like how we've had prompts this month, um, like proper prompts. Is that upside down? I hope not. Um, one word title. Again, we have another prompt. We could go with Light Lark, um, which is another fantasy. Am I, fan am I fancying fantasy um, this month? I'm actually getting hot here. Um, we've also got Rootbound by Tara Jewett, which is a 
kind of like a cowboy romance we could go with size which is a sci-fi um type thing um but actually i can put this back here now um but i think actually we're gonna go with root bound just because do you know what let's look in here for a moment oh we've got collide by bal cabra i'm sorry if that was pronounced incorrectly we've got off track by esha patel we've got conviction we've got babel but you know what i think i'm gonna go with root bound i think i need to add like an actual romance into here i know that i will read romance um like this month do i want to do a seventh let's do eight i think i enjoy this too much also i think part of me wants to get rid of this constant um stream of like books that's in here like the actual book names let's just get a prompt that was upside down like i don't have this it's this book with an animal on the cover oh my god there is actually a fox i found something with a fox it's another fantasy though i'm gonna put that one back i think we've got too much fantasy in this pile um so i think did i put that the small one back let's just put it there if we pick it out again i, I only looked at the words at the end just to make sure i put it up correct that's another Clive Cussler book, which I don't have on me and I don't feel like doing this month. What should it be that I just picked? I don't even know what that book says. Even number of pages. Okay. Well, we know which ones are even. Let me double check this. We're joking. I could have picked this for odd number of pages. What was I thinking? I think I might still read that book anyway this month. Let me double check. That's a sneak peek to... Let's go with A Court of Thorns and Roses. I know it's another fantasy. I could have gone for a romance, but... No. One, two, three. There's one more. Oh god, of course it would help if I put it the right way around. The family remains. I didn't bring that back with me, did I? No, I didn't bring it back with me. And I know I said I could get them for my nanas, but I think I'd rather um, just grab books from this current pile. Um, I haven't seen us. You've reached them. Did I bring that back with me? I might have done. I did, yes. By Dustin Tao? I don't know. Um, this is quite a short one. Um, under 300 pages. Um, this could emotionally wreck me, I don't know. Um, and here is the eight books that I'm reading. So I've got Divine Rivals, A Good Girl's Guide to Murder, Six of Crows, Blind Sighted, Rootbound, A Court of Thorns and Roses, You've Reached Sam and Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies. I do understand that this has been on my TBR before. And I think so is The Good Girl's Guide to Murder. Um, but we will see. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what are the TBR kind of ways you want me to do. Um, whether you want me to do next, do next month as like a um, prompt or what. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.